on the day of the out in front. Probably you think that this rain is a bad omen. Wrong, wrong. Those of you who will think for a moment about the daily, weekly, and festival prayers, you'll know that the Lord said if you obey my commandments, I will cause my the rain to come and believe will flourish. This is indeed a moment that will ensure that there is a special place to nurture our heritage. The work begun here of brick and mortar is not only the work of our hands, but of our hearts. Thank you very much, Dr. Weiss, Rabbi Sultan, Rabbi Shadeen, other distinguished members of the rabbis who will be present, Assembly of the Judge Harris, Owen Greenstein, Carl Leo, Steve, other members of the dais, members of the committee, and friends. I'm delighted to be here on this very special occasion for all the members of Temple Elizabeth and for Henry in general. And I must say to my good friend, Lenny Weiss, it's good to be seeing more of him today, as you may know. He's back out on the campaign trail. I don't want to bring up politics at this kind of a gathering. But, as you know, he's uh, one of the most talented public servants of our time, a very Yes, as of this 
moment, and I haven't had a chance to tally the cards that came in this morning, we have over $85,000 for 38 members of the congregation. Harrison Danny Sanders. tells people find painful memories. And before those wounds could heal, it happened again. Someone in October of 1991 plastered the Temple Israel Synagogue with posters denouncing Judaism. And in May, fire officials said an arsonist was behind a fire that damaged the Temple's main sanctuary. There's no proof it was a racial act, but no one is saying for sure that it wasn't. It's more than sad, it is sick. And I was disappointed, and I was depressed.
But whether it was an anti-Semitic act or not, attacks against this synagogue seem only to strengthen this congregation and its resolve to build a brighter and a better future. As is evident here in groundbreaking ceremonies, just two weeks after the fire, for a one and a half million dollar expansion project that includes additions to the Hebrew school and office spaces. Even the rain couldn't dampen spirits. We were hoping, of course, for nice weather, but uh, we brought the, uh, the dirt to our congregants as opposed to having them have to go out there. Circumstances surrounding our, for the fire that we had here, very upsetting to uh, many of our members. But as you can see here today, the um, outpouring of concern for the synagogue and particularly its growth into the future, I think represents uh, the fact that uh, our membership is very uh, confident that the synagogue will continue to grow. Elaine Houston, News Channel 13 in Albany. Temple Israel. Two weeks ago, it was the scene of an arson fire. Today, the temple broke ground for a major expansion. Ed O'Brien has more on the temple and the spirit of its congregation. And what a difference in emotions, Mary Beth. The timing of today's celebration was strictly a coincidence, but the symbolism was just as important. Just two weeks after that damaging blaze, a congregation of the Temple Israel has trained its focus now on the future. A decidedly upbeat spirit at the temple for this morning's ceremony. A 90-minute combination of speeches, music, and dance. It's hard to believe that only two weeks ago, many of these same people were here for a much different reason. A fire someone deliberately set, one that did damage to the sanctuary. Part of the original temple, Leo Path helped get built back in the 50s. Well, I came right over. It was as hundreds of other members did. It was a very, very uncomfortable feeling, but thank God it's, uh, it, it wasn't worse. And strangely enough, the people here have somehow managed to turn that sad day into something of a bonus. When the fire took place, everybody uh, was, was shocked and upset. And I said, as fire can destroy, they can weld people together. And they welded all the members of the congregation together, members of the community, Jew and non-Jew. And now that congregation is getting together to add a million and a half dollars worth of improvements to the temple. They're calling it their 21st century rebuilding project. Throughout the course of our history, we've suffered adversity and persecution. We picked ourselves from the up from the ashes of destruction to rebuild and to rejoice and to go on in a positive way. Now, by the way, some of the scheduled improvements include a new main entrance, new offices and meeting rooms, and a new fire and burglar alarm system at a cost of over $100,000, Mary Beth. The weather forced this to be a bit of an unusual groundbreaking? Yeah, they it? brought the dirt right in with them and did the groundbreaking inside. Yeah, might as well. Sure. All right, thanks, Ed.